Have you ever wondered what your life would be like if you were happier? Even just a little happier, how would that change your day-to-day -day life? Your job performance or your relationships with your loved ones? Here's my real question. What do you think the world would be like if we were all a little happier? We're trained to believe that our happiness is dependent on our circumstances, and that's not completely true. We're constantly looking to the future for our happiness, saying things like, when I make more money, then I'll be happier. When I get a new job, then I'll be happier. What if you could be happier now, despite your situation? It may surprise you to learn that there are a number of simple techniques that could help you accomplish this goal, one of which is gratitude. Now, <laughs> when I first learned that gratitude was one of the key components to happiness, I was skeptical. What you don't know about me is that I have been chronically ill for over a decade. And for the first six plus years of that, I was mostly bedridden and in excruciating pain every minute of every day. So when I read in the midst of this that I should just be more grateful, I was like, seriously? <laughs> for what? My life and dreams had been ripped away from me at the age of 18. I was in constant agony. And with no diagnosis at the time, there was little hope that I would ever get better. So what could I possibly be grateful for? Except my parents were taking care of me, keeping me alive. My siblings. My cats. I suppose the roof over my head and the bed beneath me. Blankets keep me warm. Things like hot water and indoor plumbing, those are nice. Eventually, the ability to draw, food, water. It turns out, despite being in one of the worst situations I can imagine, and beyond what I could ever explain, to the point of being suicidal, I still had a lot to be grateful for. The trick is to look. The more you look daily, the more you're actually retraining your brain to search for the positive things in your life, and the less you'll focus on the negative. Every morning, I acknowledge at least 10 things for which I'm grateful. The more I started doing this practice, the more I noticed my happiness levels increasing. Nothing in my situation had changed. And yet, the grim prospect of never recovering didn't seem as formidable. The thought of never going back to school, never having a job, never being able to live a normal life, didn't weigh on me constantly like it had before. Now, here's the thing. I keep wondering what it might have been like if I had learned this technique growing up, instead of having to figure it out the hard way as an adult. Would my illness have been so debilitating? Would my anxiety and depression have been so severe? What about other simple techniques for managing things like stress, anxiety, and depression? There are a lot of them. Things like meditation, or how much a walk can help with anxiety, or nature. Breathing techniques, or creating art. If I'd learned these from childhood, I think I would have been better armed against the many challenges life has thrown me. I wouldn't have had to retrain my brain. Unfortunately, it's incredibly common for people to start struggling with their mental health at a young age. I was only eight years old when I first started suffering from the symptoms of depression, and of course, I wasn't prepared. So here's another question. Could I have been at least a little bit better prepared? These tools should be a part of our education. Education shouldn't just be about academics. It should be about preparing us as human beings for adulthood. It's time to start helping our youth manage their mental health in a more proactive way. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, teaching children that young, even kindergartners, about mental health may be a little bit beyond what they should be learning. I understand. But learning how to practice gratitude learning simple breathing techniques for when they're feeling stressed, 
These are things we can teach our kids from a young age and then develop that education over time to incorporate more. If we all learned and practiced these techniques, I think we'd be amazed at how much happier our society could be and how much of an impact it could have on the climbing rates of things like anxiety, depression, bullying, incarceration, addiction, and suicide. So let's start now. Tomorrow morning when you get up, I want you to name 10 things for which you're grateful and encourage your friends and your children to do the same. If we all did even this one thing daily, not only could we be happier as individuals, I think it could help change our society for the better. Thank you.